you were talking a little bit about how you've worked with financial literacy and you've worked with with the uh, Chicago schools. Tell me a little bit more about how you work with the schools on literacy. Well, when I first became treasurer, I wanted to make sure, <clears throat> pardon me, I impacted all 400,000 Chicago public school students with a financial literacy curriculum. And we found out during the process that because of federal laws about education, it's very difficult to incent teachers to teach outside of the box because they teach the test because that's how they are rated or ranked because if their students fail, they become a failing school, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So my office actually became very innovative. We went through the teacher librarians to teach a curriculum because the librarians are teachers first and they're looking for things to do besides talk about books or to read. And what the data has shown is that children in either the third or the fifth grade are at an age where they can absorb the idea of financial literacy. A lot of parents think it's a topic that is not something a child understands or should understand. But what the research shows is that we are shaping behavior in third and fifth grade. By the time they get to high school, we are changing behavior. And if anyone has tried to stop a habit, you realize once you have that habit, it's difficult to change it. So you want to shape good habits. And so we work with the money savvy generation to teach children the fundamentals of personal finance and the good choices that they can make. So is a credit card good or bad? I always say it's bad. Some people want to debate with me. I haven't heard a case yet that it's good, but it's bad. What are the things you can do with your money? Can you spend it? Absolutely. Should you save more? We need to save more. What is investing? What does it mean to donate? And so we're teaching these children that the choices they have with their money are more than just to spend, spend, spend. They are being bombarded every day with spend your money, spend this money. Don't delay your gratification. Get it now. Get it now. I mean, how many iPods can we get? You know, it's like a new one comes out every 10 to 12 months. So you need to learn to, to delay gratification. And I think it's a life skill that we need to teach. And my office has just done a really good, great job of impacting so far 250,000 Chicago Let's put it this way, more like managing money. Correct making healthy choices about their money. In an ideal world where I had unlimited money, um, we would have this um, curriculum in grades first grade through 12th grade. But because we actually fundraise for this curriculum, we decided to have the biggest bang for our, our buck, and it's been determined to be in the third and the fifth grade.